everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make these cute Amigurami mermaids uh, from the Red Heart Amigurami line. So if you're interested in learning how to do it then go ahead and please keep on watching. So as you can see, I went ahead and separated my yarn. So we are going to go ahead and start off uh, with the body round one. So to do that, you're going to need the, uh, the yarn labeled A, and that is this skin flesh tone color. So I'm going to just move those all the way to the side. And so just like with the, uh, with the other one, we are going to start with a magic circle. Okay, and then we are going to just chain one just to lock that circle into place. Then we are going to put six single crochets into that circle. Then before we close the circle, go ahead and take your stitch marker, or in my case a bobby pin, and put it in that last stitch. So the stitch marker is going to mark the end of the row. And then pull that string tight. Okay. So for round two, we are going to work two single crochets into each stitch around. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see it easier since this is a smaller project. There we go, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert into that stitch, pull our tail a little tighter, and wrap it around as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and crochet the tail in as I go. Ignore my cats as they run through the house. Okay, I'm going to just remove that stitch marker so that I can do the last two single crochets for this row. Remember to put that stitch marker right back in there. Okay, so now we are actually going to do a color change. Okay, so for this we can decide what kind of bikini color that we want to do. We can either do this teal color or we can do this purpley color. I think that I am going to do the purple color. So go ahead and cut your yarn, pull that through, then go oops, with our purple color, like a magic knot.
I'm just going to pull up a loop, maybe. Got a whole bunch of little ends in here. Okay. So now I'm just going to pull up a loop like that. Okay. Okay. So for row three, we're starting with our bikini color. We are going to place a single crochet into that first stitch. Okay. And then in the second stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. So then we're going to start from the beginning. So then one single crochet into that next stitch. And as you notice, as I am crocheting, I'm, go I'm going ahead and putting these in the middle of the stitches so that I won't have to sew in the color change later. So two single crochets. Okay. And then one in the next one. Okay, and by the end of this row, you should have 18 single crochets. In every couple rows, it's a good idea to, you know, count just to make sure that you have as many, because it will make it more difficult if you do not have the indicated number. Especially when you're doing, like, decreasing and so forth. Okay, and in the last stitch where our stitch marker is, that should be two single crochets. Okay, and again, we are going to put our stitch marker in that last stitch. I'm really loving this purple color too. All right. <clears throat> So now for rows four through six, we are going to go ahead and with the same color, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so I am about to do the last stitch in row six. And so uh, what I'm going to do is we are actually going to do another color change. So we want to go ahead and cut that one. And then grab our uh, skin toned yarn again. I'm just going to tie this off. Then take and pull up a loop. And then we're still going to put a single crochet into that last stitch. Okay. There we are. Okay. And then go ahead and 
put your stitch marker there. Okay, so now with rows 7 through 11, we are going to do the same thing um, with this skin tone color. The only difference is the last stitch of row 7. We are actually going to change back into our bikini color. So go ahead and do rows 7 through 11, and then we will meet back up at row 12. finished round 11. So for round 12, as I mentioned, we are switching to this purple yarn or whatever bikini color you decide to choose. And so for rows 12 through 14, we're just going to keep doing what we have been doing. So we're putting one single crochet into each stitch around. All right guys, so before we continue on with row 15, we are going to go ahead and put some stuffing in there. And I am just going to, like I normally do, just flip it inside out. And once again, you wanna make sure that where you started is tight because otherwise it is going to uh, cause an issue later. So I don't know why, I, I myself just like flipping thing, flipping it inside out, but you know, you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, and of course that's still the top. So we are going to go ahead and get a little bit of our stuffing. And if you want, this is where, if you wanted to add the uh, plastic pellets to weigh it down, you could do that at this step before you put the stuffing in. Um, and we're not actually going to change any colors after this. Uh, you do want to make sure that centerpiece though is in there. Oops. That just kind of saves a step of sewing it in. Okay, and go ahead and stuff that in there. And remember, we do not want to put so much stuffing in there that it stretches the stitches, okay? So go ahead and do that. All right. So now we are actually going to go ahead and continue with row 15. So now row 15 is a decrease row. So we are going to put a single crochet into that next stitch. Okay. Then we are going to do then we are going to do two single crochets together. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through those three loops, okay? So then for the next stitch, once again, we're going to just put one single crochet in there because this is a gradual decrease. And then we're going to do the decrease stitch again. So it's just really easy to do. And you should have 12 stitches when you're done with this row.
stitch marker out and then do that. All right, go ahead, whoops, and put your stitch marker back in. So now we are just going to finish off this piece. So we are just going to do two single crochets together the entire way around. So you will end up with, oops, you'll end up with um, six stitches at the end. So that's one. I'm just going to take, since we're closing it off, um, at this point just add just a little bit of stuffing in there just because we have started to close it off and there's a little bit of space in there. So I'm going to do my best oops, to add just a little bit of stuffing just so that there's not any parts of the project that have no stuffing. There we go. Perfect. Okay. That. And then for the last two stitches going to just take this out and we actually will not need to put that stitch marker back in. Pick up a loop, pick up a loop from the next stitch, yarn over and pull through those loops. Okay, so now we are going to leave a really long tail to fasten off later and go ahead and pull the yarn out. So go ahead and get your yarn needle out. Okay. Okay, so now that we have pulled that out, we are going to get out our handy dandy yarn needle and go ahead and thread it as so. Oops. Might have to roll it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so then to close this off, we're just going to go through the three stitches, or I go through all six stitches, but we're going to do them in, of course, in sets of two. So in a total of three stitches, like that, go through the next set, and then go through that last set. And then we are going to pull that as tight as we can. Oops. And then I'm just going to take and pull that as tight. Okay. So then we're just going to leave it like that. And so it so this is the top and that is the bottom. So now we are going to move on to the arms and legs and they are actually the same pattern. So you got to uh make sure that you do four of them instead of just two. 
and so they're just really easy to do. So you are going to chain one, solidify that chain there, and then you're going to put six single crochets into that magic circle. And since we are going to do this in a spiral, once again, uh, you want to just put your marker in there and then pull on the tail. Okay. So then for rows two through 11, we are actually just going to put one single crochet in each row around, and that's literally all there is to the legs. So we're just going to keep doing that until we get to the end of row 11. And this is a project that would be perfect for a row counter. If you do not have a row counter, honestly, I just use my phone. So, and just use a calculator, and it works just as good. Let's row down. So when you get done with the arm, go ahead and once again leave a long tail for sewing in. And as mentioned before, you don't want to stuff this with the uh, polyfill because instead the instructions say we are going to stuff it with a sh with a straw. So you know that's exciting. So I have my nice little green straw here. So one of the things that I found to be the easiest because I did have a little bit of trouble especially with this particular straw for some reason so I took and I folded my straw in half and then I folded it in half again and it actually seemed to go into like the arms and the legs easier I figured that would help to um, uh, help to support it too so if you have like this little bit left over then you can just pull it out a little bit and cut whatever the extra is off and then put it back in so you want to do that with all of your arms just going to go ahead and do the rest of mine real quick So now we have our two arms and our two legs. So that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please check back tomorrow for the right-handed version of this tutorial and later in the week for parts two and three. I'd also like to say hello to all of the new subscribers. I'm so excited for you to join us and I hope that you have a great time. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.